Okay. So yeah. you're better than everybody in Africa. Yeah. I'm better than because that's what we believe as slimes. Because if if I say I'm the best rapper, what does that mean? Exactly. I can't say, yeah, I'm the best rapper in Africa, but there's no but. Uh, yeah. I'm as as your fans, we wanna hear, we wanna hear you say it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm the best rapper in Africa, man. Thank you, bro. This is the Hustlers Corner. With the greatest rapper in Africa. I'm going to say it again. It's not a mistake. With the greatest rapper in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I am a slime. <laughs> yes. Certified slime for real. I already know. From day one. Yes. yes. How are you doing? I'm good, man. And first of all, I just want to say, OG, oh, man, I've been seeing the love you've been showing me on social media. I've been seeing the love you've been showing me ever since we ever met. And it's always been consistent and so real and genuine. And I really appreciate you for that. I love you, bro. It doesn't go unnoticed. I yeah, swear. Yeah. I swear. I'm glad, yeah. man. And, and, and I'm very happy that you're looking fresh. Thank you. You're looking clean. Your skin is like... That you don't even go to the loo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> fresh and clean, bro. <laughs> it means it's well, very you know? Sure. Yeah. How have you been? I've been good, man. I've been working, keeping my head down. Yeah. 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 Doing the most. I think the last time we, we had a chat was when I had the DJ's for breakfast before there was Massive Metro. Right. And that's already, like, I think it was 2016. Yes, it that's, was. That's almost six, seven years ago. Yeah. You were still new in the game, I think, at the time. Very fresh. I was yeah. there with Benchmark. Uh, who else? Yeah, I was there with Benchmark and him. I think with Java. It's Java, also. Saudi. Saudi. Right. Yeah. 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 City Lights, rest in peace. City Lights, may yeah. so rest in peace. Yeah. And um, you've had a run. I can't believe it's almost a decade later. Yeah. How has how has it been? Crazy. It's been crazy. It's just been a buildup of, you know, highs and lows, you know, experiences to learn from. I mean, dropping out of the label, having to go independent and then make that work has just been a crazy journey. It's just been crazy. It's not easy to, to leave that label support and go do it on your own and be indie. You know, right, right. A lot of people actually fail. True. I, I, I had a, I was sharing to Nota um, on the Monday episode, and that's exactly what he said. It's not a lot of artists that get to be able to go do it on their own after they've had success with it with a major label. Yeah. You know? True. How have you been able to do it? Well, I always tell people it's, it's my level of consistency when it comes to the music, you know, because if there's one thing that I have when I don't have anything else is the music. So I always depend on that. So I just felt like from from my view, I just felt like maybe, you know, the people just love my music so much so that it's it's keeping me afloat. You know, it's keeping me in the game. It's keeping me relevant and all that. But honestly, it's also being around like, you know, people who, who taught me certain things about the game that I didn't know. Because, you know, you come in, you thinking you coming in and you're just going to make music and that's it. Make the music, perform the music and that's it. But a whole lot of you know, other things come with the the industry and you know, a whole a whole lot of different aspects come with this shit. So it's like you have to learn the business. I mean, you you have to you have to learn the ropes. And it's not easy you have to learn the ropes. And it isn't easy, man, especially when you when you are artists like me, honestly, when all you honestly care about is the music. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm a studio recording artist. I'm a machine. I just want to be in the studio making the dopest shit I've ever did in my life. But then it's like you have to, you know, get your publishing right. You yeah. have to get a distributor. You have to, all of that, all of that. So it's just been a crazy journey. So, yeah, back to the question, though. I feel like just being around, you know, people like, shout out Thule. Shout out um, Thule from Log Communications. Shout out DJ Mapori. So, um, shout out PH. Shout out, yo, shout out a lot of people. Shout out to a lot of people who, like, kind of, like, you know, gave me some game along the way on some, yo, do this to get to this point, you know, or don't do this so you can avoid this type of shit, you know? So shout out to those type of people. Is it intentional that you're not everywhere like other musicians are? Because the teachings say, get out there, get yourself out there, promote yeah. yourself. And that's what every artist is doing all over the world. Right, but you right. don't. Yeah, you know, there are times... You're, like, you're actually like Jay-Z. Jay-Z is yeah. not on any social media. The right. only other time we want to hear his response on anything or on all the stuff that we've been saying about him and his responses is through the right. music. Yeah. I mean, that's 
that's where I'm most comfortable at when I'm in the studio in front of the mic and that beat is playing, you know? I get to express myself in the most, I mean, I can't express myself any other way. Like when I'm talking to you like this, you might not even get the whole thing, you know? But when I get behind that mic, you know, when I when I start writing on that page, it's just, it's different. I so, feel so yeah, but sometimes to be honest with you, man, I be in the crib and I'm like, shit, I do need to get out. You know what I mean? Cause it's, it's kind of like protocol when you're in this industry, you know what I mean? You have to be outside. And the fans miss you. The you fans to want outside. to see you. Yeah. And that too, man, the fans, you know, going out on stage is probably like my favorite part of going outside. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I get to see my fans sing along to the shit that I just put out, like show me love. You know, I love being around that. Cause it reminds me of why I'm doing this shit in the first place. We got for a great show last weekend at Cotton Fest. Thank you. That was thank dope. You. Thank you. And I also wanted to say thank you for feeding us with the music. Yeah. You don't get us hungry for a long time. There's a time when we get <laughs> yeah. pissed off with you. But right. then at least then you come and deliver, you know? Yeah. And I like the fact that when you come, you don't only just deliver a single. Like, you give us. Yeah. You give us music. And then at least you, you keep us going for a couple of months. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And that is intentional as well. It is. It is, man. If... if if it was up to me, I would release every single day. Every single day, yeah, man. If, if, <laughs> for real, like, true. Everyone who knows me knows. Like, if it was up to me, I would release every single day. Whether it's a single, a project, I don't I don't care. I just love releasing music. It's like a high that, that, that no other high could ever match. Mm. You know, putting something out that, you, that comes from here. Mm. You know, and you get to see how people react to it. And like I said, you get on stage, it's a whole different monster. You see these people singing along word for word, jumping, going crazy. You know, people putting the same tattoos you have on their skin. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, did, like, did you ever think when you went independent that you'll have um, this type of a fan base? Because we're not playing with you. Like now, me starting this episode and saying you're the greatest rapper in Africa, I'm going to get a lot of flag. But that's what I love about the slime. It's like we're, they call us the cult following, yeah. you know? It's like, we don't care. Like, yeah. did you know? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do know. I get reminded of it every time, whether it's my girlfriend telling me or my bros telling me or me seeing it sometimes when I'm on social media, you know, just being outside. It's it's crazy, man. It's That's why I'm like, that's the reason why I just keep going back to the studio and I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to do another one. Oh, yeah, I need to say something else, you know? Because I see what it does. I see the effect it has on people. And I grew up inspired by the Jay-Z's and the J. Cole's, the Kendrick's, and they had that effect on me. And, you know, so so me being in this position, man, is everything I ever wanted. Mm. But I also like the fact that you're putting others on. Like, your, yeah. your, 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 as your brother or your cousin? My brother. Jody. Jody's your, your blood brother? Yeah, blood brother. Wow, well, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. And, and sometimes it does catch a, a bit of flag. Yeah. Um, for being your brother. For sure. Is that fair? Because he's got his own I, skill also. Yeah. You know? But I think people are too hard on him because he's he's got your footsteps that he has to follow. Yeah, true. And that's so crazy because internally it's it's vice versa because this is the re this guy is the reason why I started doing this shit in the first place. Because I was looking at him rapping, you know what I mean? Recording music, and I was like, I want to do that. Literally, like. I want to do that ever since I decided that shit when I was like a little kid, man. I was still in like the fourth, fifth grade. And I, and this nigga was rapping and I was like, yo, I want to rap just like this nigga, sound just like this nigga. You know what I mean? The That's first dope, the first one of the first verses I ever recorded, I think I recorded this at my brother IMP's house. He literally wrote me the first three lines. My niggas actually don't even know about this shit. <laughs> but he actually wrote the first three lines for me. You know what I mean? So that's how, how that's how much he inspired me. Like, I just wanted to be exactly like him. And then, boom, A. Reese happens. And then Jody takes on a solo career because he started, you know, as a duo with TK. Yeah. As Benchmark, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's only now going into his solo career and it's like, damn. He's like a new artist altogether. He's like a new artist altogether. So people see it that way, but the way I see it, I'm like, damn, but this is... This is the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. If anything, this is the guy you should put respect on. That's what um, the Williams sisters' father used to say. They used to go crazy over Venus. 
back in the day. Right. And then she used to be like, no, you must see the younger one. Yeah. And well, the younger one turned out to become the greatest, you know, female tennis right. player of all time. Some of us who are fans, we always say the greatest tennis player of all time. You know what That's I mean? True, man. Because sometimes you're watching here, and you yeah. actual talent is over here. Right. But I like the fact that you guys have got that um sib sibling brotherhood. Yeah. It's everything to us, man. We like we each other's best friends, you know? We're all we got. Because no one else was there when we were when we were dreaming about this shit. No one else was there, man. It was just me, him, my little brother. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thinking beyond our horizons. And look at where we are. It's crazy. It's like magic. Mm. It's like magic. And for me to be able to be in a position where I can help him, you know, get on his feet, it's that's that's a blessing. That's a that's the biggest blessing of all. Big up for that, my brother. Yeah. I appreciate that. And for me, it hurts me sometimes when I see other artists in the game who 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 are who are put on by certain people. And then you know how, how the game is. A few years later, they're popping. And the same person who put you on, maybe there was a bit of beef or whatever over the years. But I guess you can't put beef between a person who put you on, who gave you this opportunity, you know? And I kind of feel like Ish, um, some guys, it's like, but with different people, sometimes you can't understand people's situations and you yeah. can't understand what people's beefs are. Very true. But I always feel like you must always give back to those who gave to you when you had nothing. Those true. who believed in you when nobody else did. You know what I mean? True, true. That's why I'm shouting out the, the PHs, you know? Mm. Because, man, like if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for me having the opportunity to go to Raw X Studios, record music, seeing like guys I looked up to come in and out the studio, tear gas, you know, dukes and, and all that, like randomly, like it's nothing. And I'm in there and I'm the youngest. I'm like, what, 15, turning 16, spitting raps? I mean, for, man, first time I met PH, I remember I came through, I told him, I was like, yo, man, listen, you know, I rap and all that. If you want to hear me rap and, and, and all that shit, I could do that for you right now. It's like, I play, play some music. Swear to God, I played like 20 seconds of the first song and this nigga was like, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, listen, on, took, he, he took out his phone. He took out his phone. He was like, yo, stand there by the wall, by that raw X wall. Stand there. <laughs> took a picture of me. He's like, all right, cool. Now nah, I don't need to hear nothing else. We good. We good. Put out the picture the next day. I was signed to Raw X. Wow, bro. Yeah. Got to see all these stars come in, go out. You know what I mean? Had the pleasure of doing some songs with them. Had the pleasure of recording with PH, doing songs with him. And Ever since then, it catapulted into some other shit. And I like that you're in the streaming era and the numbers never go down. You just keep going up and up and up. Where are you taking this thing, Joe? Man, wherever it takes me. Because for me, you haven't really started. Well, it's like the world right, still right, hasn't right, right, seen right. a I feel the same way. I, I just feel like I'm riding my way to, to wherever the destiny is. Mm. You know? Mm. I'm pinning my way over there, man. So that's why I'm saying wherever it takes me. I'm just doing God's work, you know? Mm. I'm, I'm a vessel, so I'm, I'm just doing God's work. And I'm just making sure that I'm putting that pen to work. And obviously, I'm not being ob oblivious to everything else that comes with it. Like we said in the beginning, the, the business aspect of everything and, you know, how the brand should be presented, da -da -da, all of that. But I'm just riding my way all through it. Yeah. yeah. Favorite rapper locally? Locally. Yeah. Stogie T has to Stogie be Stogie Tumza. T. Has to be Stogie T. Tumza. Intuana is giving you your flowers. Yeah. I feel the same has way to too. Be Stogie T, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I owe Stogie T a verse. I promise I'm going to do it, OG. If you see this, I promise I'm going to do it. But Stogie T, definitely, man. Top three, not three. Nice. And thank you, Stogie, for giving my brother Lindam Keys a pro his flowers. Yeah. Thank you for giving pro, pro his flowers. I've heard you give him his yep. flowers as well. Yep. For real. Because he was one of them guys, man. You know what I mean? For yeah. him to be so ahead with his pen, like, man, doing it in his own language, too, it's so crazy, man. Like, the punchlines, like, my, my favorite album is Snakes and Ladders. Yeah, yeah. And just how, how he just made it a cohesive body of work was just too amazing for me to, to even understand at the age that I was back then. Yeah. It was just too crazy for me, man. Pro is like... Superman when it comes to this rap shit for me, honestly. Oh, bro. I was so honored, man, to live around that man and just to witness him do his magic. There was times when I just couldn't believe how talented this guy was and how humble he was, though, at the same time. Yeah. Because you guys, like the great ones are the ones behind the mic. 
yeah. you guys are fire. And then off the mic, it's like, this guy was just chill. Yeah, then it's like, yeah, yeah, this man. guy, you can't even say it's the same person who's saying all those things on those songs, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. True. I'm sure you get a lot of that feedback also. I do. Because you're really chilled. You're a chill guy, Joe. I do. I get a lot of that. You know what I mean? People be like, dog, you too chilled. Sometimes you don't even look approachable because it's like you're not even in the mood or some shit. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, it's, it's just me. I'm I'm really, really honestly, I'm a quiet kid. You know what I mean? I guess, you know, being in high school and getting in the game immediately off the matric, I had to be a little bit social because of the life I was leading. But I'm really, I'm really a quiet kid, man. I, I, I stick to myself. You know what I mean? I stay out the way. So, yeah. And you also don't engage in that much beef, eh? Because I also, yeah, I, 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 obviously the fans try and drag you into all sorts of different um, yeah. conversations. Right, but right. like, you're always just chilled, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Because for me, it's really about, you know, the music, man. Mm. Yeah, the music. And then go charting, barring. How are the folks? Man, you know. They have to be proud, bro. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, my father. You know what I mean? Ah, rest in peace, um, time. Man. But yeah, he, he always used to tell me. He always used to be like, yo, you see this guy, Jay-Z? You're going to be better than him. <laughs> nice, nice. And I would always be like. Affirmation from your dad. I would bro. always be like. You yeah. know, and my yarn. But he's like, yo, you're going to be better than him. And, you know, I, I took it as, you know, being better than him, literally. But I was going to be a better version of myself. Of, yes. You know, a Reese, the better version of that. I was he was basically saying, as long as I keep going at it, man, I'm, I'm going to develop and it's going to take me to new heights because I definitely believe I still have a lot of potential. You know, I haven't reached my full potential yet. So, you know, those words just echo every time, you know, small stuff like that. But, yeah, my, my parents were supportive, but my mother was really more supportive than my, my dad at first because my dad was like, nah, you need to go to school. Yeah. You know, and my mom was like, if your dad is saying that, then that's what, that's what you have to do. But I was just like, you know, stubborn and I was, I was dedicated to this dream that I had. So I was like, yo, nah, I don't see myself doing that. I see myself getting a record deal, just like my big brother, all of that. You know what I mean? Mm. But eventually, I mean, I started, you know, doing little shows around in the neighborhood, local shows. Next thing you know, I'm on TV. I'm on Shizniz. You know what I mean? Yeah, Shit like Shizniz, that. Yo. You know what I mean? I'm in school. I'm getting called on the intercom like, yo, Reese, you got to leave early because <laughs> PH is outside in this Beamer. We got to get in, go to the studio. Yo, it's crazy. So once they started seeing all that, they were like, yo... Maybe maybe he is onto something, so mm. let's let's just support him. And ever since then, they just supported me. And big up to your family, bro, because mo even me as a parent, right? My daughter is ten now. Five years from today, I'm yeah. already allowing her to go sing or rap or whatever. Yeah. No, that is not happening. Word. So the fact that you got that support at that age, Word. I think it also has got a lot to do with your success. Yeah. I believe so too. You agree? I agree. Yeah. I agree, man. And that's why even earlier I was making an example about, um, you know, the Williams sister's father. Yeah. And if you look at a lot of these musicians who have got family members as their mom managers or yes. managed by their father or their, right. they turn out to be great because you've got True, people man. who've got your best interests at heart. You know what I mean? And always. Mm. You, know, you get people that have, you know, your best interests at heart, but not for a long time. It gets to a point where it starts becoming about them. You know what I mean? Because just, there's just too much to have. Yeah, I get you. I you get know? you. But yeah, man, I agree with you. They, you know, if say, say if I had my dad as my manager, man, I'm telling you, I'm always on 10 because he knows me. He knows when, when I need that extra push. He knows when I need to be humbled. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I guess, yeah, it works. And, and what type of a kid were you when you were growing up? I mean, growing up in Pitor. Like I said, man, you know, the quiet kid. You know what I mean? I was just, I mean, I, I got into rapping very early in my life, too. Mm. So it's crazy, man. It's kind of like I've been known for rapping. That's a almost, thing. Almost it's like, it's like you're an OG, but it's like you're a new kid. You're yeah, young, yeah. you know? So I've just been that kid staying out the way, you know, homebody at the crib. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, I, would go out, I had, you know, very few friends. But, yeah, I got into rapping early, man. I've been rapping. So a lot of people been knowing me for rapping. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and you're one of the few artists who 
And this is how Bugalav was back then. He was just an artist. And he used to say, I'm a musician. Yeah. I'm nothing else but a musician, 100%. Right. And then there was us who were doing TV, we were doing radio, we were releasing yeah. music, blah, but you get other artists who are like, I'm doing this full time, I don't want to be disturbed, and I know yeah. that I'm going to succeed. Yeah. Was that your mindset? Yeah. And I'm sure you probably even might have had some offers to do either a TV show or other things, but you just stuck to the music. Yeah, I, st- I stuck to the music. But, you know, I also I also feel like it's not a bad thing if I decide one day to spread my wings yeah. and be like, let me try acting out, you know? Yeah. Let me let me do some voice voiceovers. I don't know. Let me let me do some DJing. You know, yeah. I'm actually trying to learn how to DJ. Ah, you must uh, rock, my man. You yeah, kill it. Yeah. I'm actually trying to learn how to DJ. You know, because I I actually have a dope taste in music and people like like and love the type of music I play when when they're around me. So I think you know I want to get into it. And see, what type of music do you play when you're alone? When I'm alone, oh, I home. play everything. When I'm alone, I play everything from jazz to. Pop, rock, hip hop, everything. Oh, okay, that's everything. why that's why your music has got a lot of samples, ne? Right, right. You sample nice, bro. Yeah. And if it was up to me, I would sample every time, I swear. But you know, clearances. Yeah, and clearances shit. and yeah. the delays and All the shit. Yeah. But yeah. if it was up to me, I would sample every time. I get you. Gives it a certain feel. And yeah, because right? sonically, how human beings are with their ears, when something familiar hits Sounds the familiar ear. familiar to your subconscious. It's like, nah, I like this already. You or whatever, it. you know? Yeah, you get or it. Or you connect with it on a deeper level. But yeah. Yeah. And then right now, are you based in Josie, Pitori? Uh, Which Pretoria. area are you? Oh, Pretoria. Pretoria. Yeah, okay, lovely. City. Yeah. I, I pick up people who stay in their hometown. I always yeah. used to pick up big nas for staying in Durban. And when yeah. you want them for shows, you fly them from Durban. Yeah. You know, because a lot of artists, you find that they move to Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah. You know, was that a conscious decision or are you still planning to move to Jersey? Nah. I was in Jersey for a while. Like, I've been in Jersey since 2017. Since Ambitious Days? Yeah. Well, uh, after the after okay. I got dropped. Because... Okay. Did well, you get after, dropped? After, after, after I dropped out. Let oh, me okay, say okay, after okay, I got okay, dropped. Okay. After I dropped okay. out. But in 2016, you know, I was between going between Pretoria and Midrand because the studios at Ambitious were in Midrand. Yeah. So I would always take a hell drain to the studio, come back, and it became a little tedious and costly. So it got me an apartment out there in Midrand. I stayed there for a while. When I dropped out, I went to live in Melville with my, uh, with my brother and TK. For, for like two, three, two, three years and some change. Then from there, then all around, moved, moved, moved around, went back to Pretoria. 2018, went back to Johannesburg, lived in the in the north. Yo, it was lived in Honeydew, moved, lived in Bryanston, and then you know, I just recently moved to Pretoria. I oh, so you Bry- know that I lived life. in Bryanston for like Three, four years. I ah, know, no, two, you know the Josie yeah. life for real. You used to and it's crazy. It's <laughs> yeah. the jungle. It's yeah. the jungle yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah, it is a jungle and no one really cares about you. But also it's up to you how, what you make yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. yeah. And when you're popping, for like sure. somebody like yourself, obviously everybody will love you. You're gonna have a lot of friends. Yeah. But go through some nonsense, then you'll just really see you go to your country. It's rough out here. Yeah. You know, and people disappear when things go True. south. You know True. what I mean? But at the same time, shout out JHB because you know they 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 really support me, and they've been supporting me since since the beginning. Yeah. Even when I check my 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 stats on these Spotify charts and you know the statistics and whatnot on Apple Music and all that shit, like Johannesburg is really up there, like top two. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, we love so, your stuff, so, bro. Yeah, man. And yeah. I see that. I see the love. So I really appreciate JHB. And I want I want I want us to talk about psychologically as a young kid who had very big dreams when the ambi- uh, uh, as you're saying the dropping out of ambitious happened i'm sure you probably struggled because maybe you didn't have any financial yeah, muscle did. at the time how difficult was it and how did you deal with it mentally as a young kid you know when i think about it right now i feel like i i didn't give my myself the chance to deal with it then when it was happening Cause I was still working. I was still trying to make a way, find a way to get shows, you know, put myself out there. So I feel like I didn't give, really give myself the time, the time to sit and be like, and take it all in. But thinking about it, just thinking about it, man, it's, it, it took a toll on me because it changed me as a person, you know? 
I became a certain way because I felt like I need to act a certain way when I'm around certain people or at certain places because of how the game moves, you know, because of that narrative, you know, because of that idea. But I feel like I needed that, you know, I needed that. I needed that. I needed to become my own man at an early stage in my career. Because I feel like, you know, what's 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 coming for me is is big and I need to be able to handle it. So you already knew? Yeah, so I, I just I just felt like because I'm I'm also grateful that my older brother was in kinda in the same situation as I was in, because I got that moral support from him. You know what I mean? So when I dropped out the label, he dropped out the label. And So I you to, dropped out first? Actually, they dropped out first. Oh, okay. Benchmark dropped out first, and I was like, okay, cool. If the bros are dropping out, I'm out. You know what I mean? If I have to choose between ambitious and my brothers, I'm choosing my brothers. So I was out. Lived in Melville, and they were there with me. So, you know, trying to help me get shows, all that shit, because they they had been in Jersey before me, so they knew, you know, their way around. They knew how to navigate on certain things. So, yeah, man, it was like starting over. You know? Got to do a new album. Got to get a new single. Got to try and get someone to fuck with you so you can, you know, get your shit on radio, you know? Shit like that. Got to find someone to book you. At the time, no one wants to book us because it's like, they feel like, you know, it's going to be some legal issues if they do. So they're like, nah, we cool, we straight. So it was a crazy time for me, man. And you didn't have any issues, nah? Nah, I mean, I did a little bit. You know what I mean? I did a little bit because you know what money does. So there were a few people who fell back. Okay. You know I mean, but man, shout out Batu Batukara. Is it Batukara? Batukara, yeah. yeah. Man, shout out that man. From Liseri FM. Yeah. That's shout my out, guy. Shout Batukara. Out that, shout out that man because that man put us on. He was the only guy who was like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to book you niggas. Come to Bloom. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you some paper so you can be straight. So you get your feet right, man. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time we were gigging out in Bloom, you know, doing the same fucking shit. But it was <laughs> yeah. like, yo, we, we're back on the road again yeah. without Ambitious. But I also want to big up Ambitious because I always say even people that are, 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 are we started working with uh, what now is Motherland at the time they were ghetto rough. Um, right, obviously right, right, we right. had our issues. But as one grew mentally, as I, I became a bit older, I appreciated the fact that they were there when nobody believed in the beginning, you know, because even whatever happens between us and, uh, you know, the separation happens, you move on. They sort of somehow played a role in, in igniting the boy, in kickstarting the career, mm -hmm. you know. And when you think with a, from a bigger picture, you also, um, I guess, with, as a human being, with the top person that I am, I'm always like, you know, no grudges. I appreciate you. Yeah. And thank you for, and I'll always be grateful. And Lance knows, I've told him in his in his eye, no matter what happened between us, I'm always grateful of that opportunity that you, you gave me as a young kid. I don't know where I would be today. I wouldn't be a DJ Spoo, but the yeah. fact that you were there and I appreciate you, bro. And I want to say it on camera, while you're still alive, Lance, yeah. while I'm still alive, you must always know that I appreciate you. Because I don't know how my yeah. life could have turned out. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Facts. I mean, you know, if, if I were to meet with the ambitious owner, I, w I would have to tell him in his face, you know what I mean, how I really feel. But it's, I respect I, that. it's, it's not all bad because like, like you're saying right now, man, like where would I have been ha had that not happened in that particular part in my life? You know, if, if that nigga didn't say, yo, what do you want? I mean, because, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. like the first thing that nigga said to me. Like, Serious? I came in. You know what I mean? I was with IMP. It was for my first time I went out there at the Midrand Studios. I got in there. His Range Rover was outside. We walk in. You know what I mean? We greet each other. You know what I mean? It's all brief and shit. He goes to the, you know, little, this big ass desk, like boardroom desk type <laughs> shit in the living room shit. He walks in. He sits down. I sit across. He's like, all right. So what do you want? <laughs> you didn't expect what that. What do you question. want? Man, you know, so I had to, I had to keep it a hundred with him. And I remember before I left, I mean, after we spoke and it was official that he was going to sign me, he played me a beat in his Range Rover and it was the couldn't beat. And he was like, yo, can you do something to this? And it was, I had never really jumped on those type of beats before. So I, I really took it to myself to be like, I'm going to prove a point. So I was like, yeah, I can jump on this. I can give it to you like tomorrow or end of the week. Yeah. He's like, all right, write some shit to this. And let me hear it. And before before we left, man, he's like, yo, you need to remember one thing, man. 
your talent is always gonna save you, bro. You're like, you super talented. Your talent is always gonna save you. Yeah, so, you know, shit like that, man. I would have to see him in person to be like, you. I appreciate those moments. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, on a real, I'm really over that type shit, but it's like, you know, stay yeah. over there, I stay over here. And then you went on to become bigger. Yeah. You're becoming bigger every year, bro. Yeah. And your numbers are flipping, increasing every year yeah. on all these DSPs and these platforms. Yeah. You have to go global. I know you're already global, but you have to go global proper. Yeah, they need sure. to they need for to sure. know what we know. Yeah. So that we can be like, but we always knew. Yeah, man. I mean, I guess at this point I just need to be out there, you know? I just need to fucking get on a flight and be out there, man. Because everyone is out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sway is out there. Yeah. Joey Fats, shout out Joey Fats. Joey Fats is out there. Everyone's yeah. out there. And niggas be like, yo, nigga, what you coming through? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just need to get out there. Let's make Sway happen. I'm from Sway two months ago. Shout out to Sway. Thank you for the love, bro. Shout out Sway. I got there and I played at my piano. How dope was yeah. that? Represent. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, because yeah, I'm from Mzansi, you know? Yeah, man. I'm like, we wow, th there's never been a my piano played here and it's South African music. I'm like, Sway, I'm going to rock a my piano. He's like, go right ahead, bro. Why not? Why Dropped not? a beautiful a my piano set. Spoke very highly of everybody else he's had on there. Spoke yeah. highly of AKA Kaz. Spoke yeah. highly of Questa. Yeah. Spoke highly of To Me. Uh, and yeah, we have to, let's make it happen. Yeah, for sure. Let's make it happen, man. Yo, it would be nice, my man. Like Riz. It would oh, be. Riz, yo! It would be. In the den of the high units. Yo! Yeah, throw me in, man. Yeah, throw let's make in. it happen. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to see what I can do. Nah, for sure. But bro. we have to make it happen because a Reese belongs to the world, bro. Yeah. You, you get compared to a lot of rappers all of the time. How do you handle that? Oh, man. Let, or let me say your greatness gets compared to a lot of rappers all the time. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know how, how to feel about that, you know? It's a good thing and it's a bad thing, I guess, because who wants to be compared, right? Um, I, I can only be the best me. But it's like at the same time, okay... So everyone is really like, I, I'm so dope. Everyone just has to, there's, there's there's a person or someone who just has to find something that's lacking or that's just, you know what I mean? Too much in, in this guy's career. And that, that just means I'm doing something. There's something that's happening for you to do that. For you to go and be like, all right, I'm compa I'm going to compare this nigga to Reese because, you know what I mean? Like, if my name is in your mouth, then I'm, I'm, I'm still out here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still out here, so I don't really know how to feel. I don't, I don't pay much attention to it. Maybe that's why, but I don't know, man. It is what it is. Those things happen, right? Yeah, because we are fans, and you know how yeah. hip hop fans are. Yeah, uh, very, very conversational. Yeah, and the compare. I guess hip hop village is a very highly competitive sport. You know, it is. Mm. It is. So the the fans are by default trained that way. Yeah, you know, we'll always compare you guys. Yeah, and when I say best rapper in Africa, yeah, your name. Yeah. I'm saying yourself. When I say that, when I introduce you, do you believe it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're better than everybody in Africa. Yeah. I'm better than Because that's what we believe as slimes. Because if if I say I'm the best rapper, what does that mean? Exactly. I can't say, yeah, I'm the best rapper in Africa, but there's no but. Nah, yeah. I'm, I'm as as your fans, we wanna hear, we wanna hear you say it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm the best rapper in Africa, man. Thank you, bro. It's, Are you the best rapper in the world? Yeah. Soon to be. Thank you. Yeah. Soon they'll realize. Yes. Yeah, and they'll be late. Some yeah. of us will be saying, come on, we're I always guess, new. I guess that's 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 for the people yeah. to decide. I get you. you. Know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're still so young, bro, and you're already being compared with um OGs. You're already being some other people are even already calling you a legend. You know? So young as you are. Dude, I'm like in my 40s now. I still feel I've got a lot, a lot to give. Yeah. I still yeah. feel so young. Yeah. I imagine you like how much. You still have a lot of years to get this thing going, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm like, you haven't even started, Joe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. There's time, but you have to do it now. I have to do it. Yeah, because we want to wanna see you all up there with these guys, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I think on behalf of the rest of the other slimes, thank you for sort of slowly coming out. We want you more out. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to do my best, man. I'm going to do my best, you know, for the fans. Yeah. 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 Okay, label-wise, independent? I'm independent right now. I just started my own label with um, J. Jody and TK. Nice. Revenge Club Records. You know what I mean? We're currently self-published. We don't have any artists that we signed. It's just us. We're signed to ourselves. But yeah. You know what I mean? Just recently had a launch like last year. Yeah. Yeah. So 
hoping that's going to go well. We just need to cook up, you know, get the catalog right. Nice. And and we'll see we'll see what happens from there. And we'll what what, what are we expecting over the next couple of months as far as projects are concerned? Um Jay Jody is definitely dropping another project because nice. he's gearing up for his um debut album. Nice. Which is a big moment for him, you know what I mean, taking on this solo career vibe. Um you know, uh myself I'm working on the album as well. I've been working on this album since yeah. like since like 2020. So When is it coming, bro? It, it is definitely coming this year, I think. It's coming this no, year. No, don't yeah. say anything. <laughs> Confirm. I'm just yeah, it's coming this year. It's okay. coming this year, man. Okay. It's coming this year. Okay. And then maybe singles along the way? No yeah, build for up. Sure, definitely. Okay. There has to be a build up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some collabs? There has to be some build up. I definitely want to do more collabs. You know I mean, it was fun doing some shit with Blackie last year. You know what I mean? Did some shout shit. Shout out to Blackie yeah, for holding it down on Blackie. the hip hop space. For real. He really held hip hop on his back, bro. Yo, shout out Blackie, mm. for real. And he's he's ultra focused too. Like super focused. Like you could just see it in him. Like, you know what I mean? He's he's super focused. He's mm. he's really not here to play. I really love how he moves for, for a nigga his age. You know what I mean? Because when I was that age, I, if it wasn't for certain people around me or the label, I would have shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's just, you know. And the people around him too, like they helping him get to where he wants to be, man. And that's that's the greatest shit ever. Yeah, Shout and, out Blackie. and he also keeps it humble, you know. He does. Very very he awesome does. brother. Yeah, and straightforward too. Straight up, he's straight up. You know what I mean? Straight up young nigga. He doesn't beat around the bush. He doesn't. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. Fuck with that vibe. No, so I don't wanna um, suck everything all out because I wanna I wanna reserve a part two for when the album drops. That's so let's so, confirm yeah, it on yeah, camera. Sure. When the album drops, you nah, have, listen, you have look, to start here, yeah, man. Look, man. <laughs> look, P2, the big hearted bad guy is definitely coming out this year. It's definitely coming out this year, man. And it's going to be some other shit, as always. You know what I mean? And I just can't wait because it's going to be so much fun. Because the fans know what it means. So it's it's going to be so much fun, man. Yeah. What would you like to say? Lastly, speak to your people. We've got a lot of young people who follow you. My yeah. daughter is a fan as well. Yeah. It's beautiful to be a fan of uh, an artist and my daughter is really a fan yeah, of the same yeah, artist. Yeah. It's very beautiful, bro. Um, it is beautiful. So that's the thing. Like, we've got our kids following you. We're following you. And then you've got a whole lot of other young guys out there with, with their dreams. They are you 10 years ago or you 15 years ago. What would you like to say to them? Yo, at the end of the day, it's about if you're happy with yourself. So whatever walk you 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 embarking on in life, whether it be music just like me or whatever, engineering, architecture, whatever it is, it's all about if you're happy with yourself. I'm I'm here and I'm still willing to go because I love what I do. So you you have to pride yourself in loving what you do. And if you're doing what you love, make sure that shit gets you paid. And then lastly, I'd like for you to speak to the global superstar Aries, who you are seven years from today. You'll be definitely a global superstar. Yeah. We're sitting here right now, beginning of 2023 in Rosebank. Yeah. It's as if we're sitting there. Imagine me having asked you, a similar question then when I first met you seven years ago, asking you about this Aries that you are now. Yeah. So what I'm asking you now is you look at the camera, you speak to yourself, but you speak to your superstar global self. What would you like to say to that guy? Because you are the reason why he's over there, wherever he is now. Look at the, the, the lens and the camera, speak to yourself. What would you like to say to that big global successful guy who's got his Grammys? Um. <laughs> it's uh, out there listen, it yo, manifested I, I, bro I, I would say yo bro listen I told you to believe in me told you to believe in me I love you bro I love you too man you're now on your boy who's part of and continue doing what you're doing and I think another thing go first it's the pressure from my daughter because yeah. she's like a dope big fan. Yeah. And I'm always involved in what she listens to and those type of things. You know, who's she listening yeah. to? Which websites is she on? Those. So the fact that she's your fan, I'm like, we're rocking together. Yeah, so at least we're rocking the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, so that's, keep that's going. That's a beautiful sight, man. 
I don't know, man. One day I'd love to meet your daughter, man. Oh, that would be I'd dope. Love to meet your kids, man. I'd yeah. love for you to invite me to your house, whatever. Oh, that would be dope. I'd yeah. love to, bro. Yeah, man. I would love to. And let me promise you with the sway thing, I'm gonna do uh, I'm I'm gonna try my 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 uh use my 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 connects and some of the people who showed me love in the US to make it happen. You have to go, bro. I have to. You have to go. At least I've also opened one to. or two contacts, Nyana, that I can, hey, let's plug here, let's plug over there. You know what I mean? No, nah, I have to. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Thank you. And I would appreciate that, G. We love you, bro. And um, slimes forever. Slimes forever. Yeah, we are, we are a cult following. For those who say, hey, these guys are like a cult. Yes, we are. Yes. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Big Reese. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the next Peace. part two. When is dropping the album? And that would be the second half of the year? Um, yeah, most probably. Okay. Most probably. Okay, cool. Yeah, because, cause, you know, it's a lot of music, man, in the vault. So, yeah. 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 Nice one. Risa Spoken. We're out. Peace. Peace.